Vintage Audio Attic Repair and Restoration. Okay, I've moved in my Donico ST35. Just got to hook the speakers up here and uh, get a couple RCA uh, cables going from the pre out of the uh, Nova 300 into the Dynaco, and we'll be ready to make some music. All right, the uh, got the speakers hooked up and uh, the pre out from the uh, Nova 300 uh, coming into the Dynaco ST35. Uh, so uh, we're about ready to to crank it up and see how it sounds. Um, I have to say, the little Dynaco uh, looks kind of good with the Nova. I guess if Peachtree were to ever come out with a with a tube amplifier uh, edition, uh, they could use this design. Looks pretty good with it. Wow. Well, no disappointments there. Um, you know, this is about as different as equipment can get, uh, stereo equipment. I mean, this is shows you that the vintage equipment, it can run with the new stuff, and the new stuff can run with the old stuff. Um, you know, this is a Dynaco ST35, 17 and a half watts per channel, a tube amplifier from the middle 1960s. And it teamed up and made just outstanding music with uh, a Peachtree Nova 300, a much more modern piece of equipment. So 50 years have passed, but um, uh, it sounded great together. Uh, the Dynaco was completely rebuilt, and that's one issue uh, that vintage equipment has. Uh, really, any of this equipment that's 30, 40, 50 years old, like this piece, needs to be gone through. Um, to operate properly to give it a fair a fair chance uh, that being said it's only 17 and a half watts a channel does a hair better than that it'll do about 20 on the test bench uh, before it goes above its 1% uh, distortion rating but uh, that's nothing close to the Nova 300 which is 300 watts a channel and even more into four four ohm speakers which I was using in this test by the way I was using a pair of uh, definitive technology STS speakers and I use those quite often because um, you can get it, you can, even with this little tube amplifier, uh, those, these speakers are quite efficient and um, they're pretty easy loads for most amplifiers. Anyway, it works out great when you're using these uh, big power output solid state amps, but you're also using them with uh, smaller powered tube amps. So that's what I was using in the test and there was just no disappointments. I could certainly get it to... Um, I won't call it ear splitting levels, but certainly uh, louder than probably most people uh, would play their music in an average size room. As I mentioned in the video, my Dynaco ST35, I completely rebuilt it a few years ago with the new capacitors. Um, many new resistors also. Um, when I received this uh, ST35, most of the resistors were out of tolerance um, by today's standards anyway, so I went ahead and changed many of those, which you a lot of times don't do. But with this unit being 55 years old, um, and, and really there's not a whole lot of components on it, so it was pretty easy to do. Um, it has the original uh, power transformer, a PA774, um, which means that this... Uh, transformer was made in the U.S. Some of the later uh, Dynaco ST35 power transformers were made in Japan, but that PA774 uh, number tells you it was a U.S. made one. Uh, it has the two original output transformers, uh, Z565 uh, Dynaco transformers. Um, and one thing in, in this unit's case, uh, which is a little bit unusual for a unit that's about 55 years old, uh, it has the original branded Dynaco, Dynaco tubes in it, both the driver tubes, which are 7247s, and also the output tubes, which are 6BQ5, or original, original Dynaco. So that's a little bit uh, unusual 55 years later. Most of those have been um, used up. 
Uh, it also has the original PC-13 circuit board assemblies, which are really quite fragile. Um, they've had a lot of repairs to them. Um, you know, but I've tried to save everything, and I have, even the power cord. So it's all original. It's about as uh, close to being new as it could be. Matching up the Peachtree Nova 300 with my Dynaco ST35, it was a lot of fun. Um, once again, if you guys out there, you've got some vintage stuff, you got some newer stuff, don't be afraid to put it together. You might be... Uh, very surprised about the sound you can get out of it. So I'm heading back. I'm going to do uh, heading back to do a little bit more listening and I hope you enjoyed the video. Visit vintageaudioaddict.com for more repair and restoration tips on your vintage audio equipment.